Hi, today I'm bringing into play what we call, and I'm going to say it wrong, Boterkoek. Come on, all my Dutch friends and family. <laughs> this is your opportunity at my expense. It's Boterkoek, butter cookie. It uses a whole pound of butter at room temperature. I've just cubed it into tiny little cubes just to make the, you know, the machine not have to work so hard. So inside this one pound of butter, we are going to have, the recipe is easy, one, two, three, four. One pound of room temperature butter, two eggs, I'm gonna, and we separate the one egg white, and we reserve that for later. And then we have three cups of sugar, and we have four cups of flour. So one, two, three, four. Um, the original recipe does call for one to two teaspoons of vanilla extract. I'm going to pimp this recipe up just a little bit. I seem to have childhood memories of maybe I'm getting a different cookie mixed up, but I remember Oma making one, a boater kook or a cookie that had almond flavoring. And maybe I remember mom actually putting almond in hers or almond slivers on the top for special company or special occasions. But that's what we're doing today. We're doing an almond extract version. So let's get started. Our one pound of cubed room temperature butter and we're going to cream that together with our sugar. Get that out of the way. The extract, I have in here two teaspoons of almond extract and my one and a half eggs. I still have my, my one egg white reserved. And we're just gonna let the machine do this. We're gonna blend until creamy and fluffy. And this doesn't take that long, but my machine is very loud, so I'm not going to bore you with watching this all poof together. I'll bring you right back as soon as I'm able to add the flour. Well, I should have kept you with me. It's not taking that long. So we got it nice and creamy. I'm going to start adding my flour now. Sorry for the joyride there. <laughs> Still learning how to manipulate a camera and a tripod with one foot in a sink. Okay. So it's flower time. Just adding it bit by bit. I use this snot out of my kitchen appliances, but I don't like to work them too hard either. Oh, I wore it. Always do. So I've already got my two cake pans ready. I'm just going to let this blend. Make a nice dough. And I'll bring you back when we're going to put it in the pan. It doesn't take long to come together. Okay, we're done. Like I said, did not take long at all. I'm just gonna get the panel out. Take half this dough, put it in this cake pan. Don't butter your pan <laughs> for obvious reasons, right? My hands are clean. I've been scrubbing them like crazy because I'm getting right in there. I'm not going to play with the spatula. Okay, and then you just press the cookie down. Might have to steal some from Peter to pay Paul. Yeah. 
I mean, you could be fanatic and weigh it, but it's not necessary. These are a no-fail, instant love cookie, I tell you. And because it's a whole pound, it's like well, shortbread cookies, right? I mean, it's Christmas. I'm putting these away and freezer banking these. That's another great thing for a make-ahead. When that butter goes on sale, get these things made. Okay. I swore I wouldn't whip on camera. Sorry about this. I'll try and take it away. I hate that click sound online. Paint it on. Smooth out the dough some with the brush too. Looks like I got a crumb on there. I've been baking all day. I'm gonna find crumbs. And it smooths itself out. I like it smooth. I put lots of egg white. We're going to put it in a preheated, preheated oven at 350 degrees. And I believe, I just throw them in and I just keep an eye because, I mean, they're done when they're slightly golden brown, golden rather. Corner, the edges should be golden brown. Um, this cookie will firm up as it cools too, so you can't totally go by like a knife test or anything. It's by sight. Trust me, you'll know when they're done. And they, like I said, they firm up as they cool. As long as your corners are golden brown, you're golden. That worked better. There, use your back of your knuckles, <laughs> not your fingertips. If you've had Boger Kook, let me know in the comments below. Do you do them different? Have you done them with the almond? Is the almond a normal thing? Am I just having a, like a memory flashback? The recipe is written with vanilla, and that's from my mom, but these are going to be so good. And once I have them cut and they've cooled, I can just put them on a little tray, stick them in the freezer. Okay, I'll be right back getting some almonds. I didn't get those ready. Okay, got the almonds out of the pantry. Now this is your recipe. This is where you would normally, if you use vanilla extract, just put her in the oven, right? Now you can get persnickety and line them all up. I was envisioning doing it until I picked them up. Excuse my phone. That'll be my friend Kim messaging. Uh, just going to sliver them around there. This is the extra. This isn't the normal. So you'd put it in the oven like this, having used the vanilla extract. 350 degree preheated oven that's in Fahrenheit. I'd say 20 minutes. I'm going to, I'm the most impatient person. I keep peeking from 15 on. I'll let you know. Every oven's different. It is a good idea just to check for the color. Sometimes my oven runs hot. It's not new. New to me. Okay, here you have it. When they come out of the oven, I'll show you cutting them up and let you know how long it took. Okay, just a quick tip. Um, especially my, my nuts. Well, all my dry goods. My pantry. <laughs> One day I'll show you the pantry. But, like, I'm finished with my almonds now for the day. So, just to help them stay fresh, I have this food sealer. goes right over top. No ring, just the lid. Right over top. They have so many different ways to do it. And now you get to hear the love clock again. 
That thing is hourly. There we have it. Sealed. Beautiful. Helps keep their freshness until the next time I need it for a recipe. How long? Honestly, I don't know. It's nuts. I really don't. I'm not going to pretend I do. But they don't last long. I do a lot of baking, especially this time of the year. This will be gone by the time I'm done my Christmas baking. Um, but it's just a nice way to keep foods fresh and now shelf stable. Boom, I can throw that in the back in the pantry. Alrighty. So let's wait for those cookies. Mmm. <laughs> exactly 27 minutes, guys. Doesn't take long. And my oven, I swear my oven cooks hot. So at this point, I don't want to play with them. I got rid of my ugly mitts. They're my favorite. And they're filthy looking, but they're not. Get my new ones on. For you. <laughs> so just kind of pull it away from the pan. Oh, it smells so good. I don't know if you can see. Let me see what I can do here. Look at, look at this browned beautifully. I'm going to let this cool. Then I'm going to do just a little bit, not a lot, maybe five minutes. And then I'll cut it into squares. When I get it out of the pan, I'll show you little bits of heaven. It was, if, if you're making this and you have an opportunity to sneak a hot one, do it. Do it. They're awesome cold, but oh, what a treat when you get a hot one. I have got to get some artificial light for this kitchen. This is terrible. It's only, ooh, 345, and look at the shadows. But I hope you can see this cookie. It's so good. It comes out of the pan really nice. Like I said, you don't butter this pan, obviously. But look at that. Mmm, so good. Okay, so, Judy, are you ready? Because I got two pans. I'm only freezer banking one, so I'm coming for a walk and I'm bringing Boucher Cook. <laughs> Try this recipe. Let me know what you think. It's so delicious, and it's a great cookie to send to school. Just keep it simple. Vanilla extract. They don't need the almonds. You don't can't anyway I think for nut allergies so just do it with the vanilla extract omit the almonds and here's a quick throw it together for school cookies enjoy please subscribe if you haven't already share with your friends and everybody please hit that thumbs up give us a like it does help thanks and kids we love you